the final event of these 1997 World Championships, the 4 by 400 meters relay. South Africa drawn on the inside. Great Britain will be in four. The Americans in lane six. South Africa with a national record in the heats. The French team, Rap Nui, first of the Mediterranean Games, anchored by Diag, another gold medalist in the 400 meter hurdles. And lane three, Jamaica. We're up three minutes in the heat. That's uh, McDonald, former world junior champion, semi-finalist here. He's the lead-off man. And leading off for Great Britain is Ewan Thomas, the UK record holder. Handing on to the British captain, Roger Black. Then Jamie Balch on the third. Mark Richardson on the anchor. Lane five, Poland. They won their heat and broke the Polish record. Zubak, a semi-finalist here. The Americans, they're very strong indeed. In fact, neutrals make them favorites, even without Michael Johnson. That's Jerome Young, who is fifth in the individual. And they're anchored by Washington, who is second. Zimbabwe, they broke the Zimbabwean record in the semi-finals. Chiwiba is the first man away, their national record holder. On the outside, we've not seen them yet, Italy. Sabre, 400 meter hurdle specialist. So, the last event of these 1997 World Track and Field Championships. South Africa on the inside, France in two, Jamaica three, Great Britain four, Poland five, US six, Zimbabwe seven, Italy eight. A number of the, these teams have set national records and may give Britain and America trouble. But they're the big two. Ewan Thomas, the UK record holder, leading off to Great Britain. The first leg run in lanes all the way. Big staggers, very difficult to judge. Jerome Clark, the American. And then the first bend of the second leg in lanes, and they break at the beginning of the back straight. It's Jerome Young, actually, who was uh, fifth in the individual. The American leadoff man, and Thomas is trying to reach him. He's run very fast indeed. Just missed out to Young in the individual. Now the stagger is not unwound until the beginning of the back straight on the second leg, but Young's run a good one. So too is Thomas. And Black follows for Great Britain. Following for America is Pettigrew. And Jamaica are going well. The Americans in front, Jamaica second, Great Britain third, and they're away from Poland. The Americans have got a good lead here. They've got about six, seven meters. Roger Black chasing hard. Goes into second place. The Jamaican is Greg Houghton. This is a big leg by Black. Pettigrew, the man who beat him in Tokyo in 91 for the individual gold medal. Black got the silver. And Black tying up. Pettigrew going away. Black has uh, been ill. British captain lacking racing. Jamie Balch in third place, Jamaica second, and America are away and clear with Chris Jones. Fourth in the American Championship, and Great Britain have got an awful lot to do here. McFarlane is the man for Jamaica, and Jamie Balch of Cardiff, stay there, Jamie. Don't go for it. Well, he may have gone too soon, we'll see. But he's put Britain right back in. He's taken on Chris Jones, and what a leg this is. I thought he might have waited to hit him again, and indeed, the Americans coming back. Bolts went too soon. 
Washington on the last leg. Richardson for Great Britain. And Clark for Jamaica. Now, Richardson must sit there and wait. He was fourth in the individual. Washington was second. Washington only 20. Richardson more tactically aware. 200 to go. America first, Britain second, Jamaica third, and Richardson is poised to attack off the last man. And there he goes, and he can't get there. Again he tries. Washington is strong enough and big enough and good enough. And closing is Clark of Jamaica. America will win it. Great Britain second, Jamaica with the bronze. 256.47. A fine, fine run by the Americans. They had the edge on paper and produced it on the track. Thomas on the first leg, that difficult first leg, 44.8. These unofficial splits. Black on the second leg, 44.8. Volch on the third, 44.1. And Richardson on the anchor, a remarkable 43.5. Washington was just too strong but too good for Richardson. He got it tactically right, but Washington was aware. Richardson delayed the attack, but Washington was waiting for it, didn't tie up, and was the stronger man in the end. The Jamaican Clark came through very quickly indeed, but couldn't make it. Gold for the USA, silver for Great Britain, bronze Jamaica. Great Britain, 256.65, the official time in second place, just outside Britain's own European record. Well, this youngster, 20 years old, second in the American Championship, second to Michael Johnson in the individual, and now a gold in the 4x400. And Washington is only 20. A lot of talent there, but there's a lot of promise in this British team. Britain with a fine record in this World Championship. 83 of bronze, 87 of silver when the team included Roger Black. 91, the World Championship itself in Tokyo, where they beat the Americans. No success in 93, and 95 fourth in Stuttgart. Bolt, Richardson, Thomas, Black. Jamie Bolch probably would have been better advised when he passed the Jamaican to wait behind the American. But he didn't, he went for it, carried on by his own ambition and confidence, but he paid for it in the end. Chris Jones, fourth of the American Championship, would have a good idea how far Bolch had to make up ground. He didn't panic, and Jones then started to come back, as Bolt paid the inevitable penalty. It was a very, very good leg, but really, he could have waited. And on the final leg, Richardson took over. In second place there, behind Tyree Washington, and Richardson really from Windsor Slough and Eaton did not a lot wrong here, nothing wrong in fact. The American, only 20, is an outstanding prospect. Richardson tried to get to him off the last bend, but Washington wouldn't let him, wouldn't bend. And there's the official result. United States, 256.47. Great Britain, 256.65 Jamaica a national record 256.75 and that's yet another silver for Great Britain